All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're back again with another YouTube video. So today, I'm finally getting around to covering EDP 45's response to Gideon. Now, I know this video did get released like three weeks ago, and I'm a little bit late, but this video did get released around the time when I was kind of taking a break. It was right before Christmas. I was working a ton, but now I finally have the time to actually talk about this. And I find this video extremely interesting because I've been someone who's been covering this entire situation. I have very strong feelings towards both EDP and Gideon in negative ways, right? So I kind of want to see what, EDP has to say about Jideon and what Jideon has to say about EDP. But that being said, for those of you who are confused on what I'm even talking about, what situation am I referencing? Basically, Jideon, as a lot of you guys already know, he used to be a pretty massive prank channel. I found his content somewhat ill-offensive. Uh, there was a couple pranks that I thought did go too far. And then especially, he usually had a, a segment where he would go into a Walmart to get like a prop or something for it. And then the employees would pretty much ask him to leave or to turn his camera off, which is pretty basic uh, policies in most places like Walmart and some fast food places but he would kind of cause a scene and kind of be a jerk about it and all that stuff and eventually he started moving more towards uh, creep catching content like um, teaming up with people like Skeeter Jean and doing like you know what I mean? Like going and confronting predators and stuff like that. And then eventually he ended up turning his life to God. But before that, he did get into a lot of like uh, situations with EDP 405. Uh, one of the big situations was he was going to try to interview EDP 405, in which he and his manager allowed EDP to join uh, Gideon's Discord, in which he found a girl named Kayla Hoskins. And EDP ended up grooming Kayla, in which Kayla eventually went to Inside, who was Gideon's manager. And then Gideon's manager eventually went to. Jideon and said, yo, look, I got a fire video idea. Let's use Kayla and confront EDP as Dialysis Center. So that's exactly what they did. They went and confronted EDP as Dialysis Center. The video got released. It was a dog shit video. I've been over this six or seven times now. Not only that, but it really didn't do anything to further any progression towards EDP. If anything, it's going to cause more issues if EDP does eventually get arrested um, because EDP has a lot of I, and I hate to admit it, he has some decent points in uh, why Jideon was a kind of a fucking idiot in this situation. That's not me taking EDP's side. That's me being realistic with you guys, right? So anyways, that basically happened. And uh, EDP obviously was pretty pissed off about it because, of course, you got outed as a predator in front of a camera and in front of a bunch of people. So he decided to take to the camera and talk shit about Jideon. And I already covered that original video. But he decided to uh, make another video about Jideon turning his life to God because that's what Jideon's kind of doing now. He's turning his life to God. It is it is what it is, whatever. And so today we are going to be covering that video of him kind of uh, discussing his displeasure with Gideon and how he doesn't give a shit about what he's doing nowadays while also making a whole video discussing it. EDP is such a fucking hypocrite. But anyways, this video that we're going to be kind of reacting to and talking to is going to be from EDP 45 All Access. I do suggest if you guys want to watch any sort of EDP content to go to him because at least he's not getting any traction to his website. Not to mention my boy's almost at five thousand subscribers so if you guys want to go sub to him that'd be sick but anyways let's get into the video i am going to edit it down because he does go on massive tangents but we are going to be covering some of the most key points so let's just get right into the video hey y'all so what the fuck it's your boy eat that pussy 445 coming back at you whole ass no life trolling motherfuckers we get another goddamn video so this Gideon right decided to turn his life over to god and he's finally realizing how big of a piece of shit that he is, how up, dirty and grimy that he is. He's finally understanding the, the damage that he has done to people. You know what I mean? With his stupid ass pranks, you know, running up on motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Bothering niggas, you know what I mean? Um, Low-key exposing phone numbers, exposing where niggas work at, you know what I mean? All that bullshit. Basically exposing addresses and all that shit, you know what I mean? Basically being your biggest internet fucking clown um, that this world has ever fucking seen. Oh man, the amount of irony of EDP calling Gideon one of the biggest clowns on the internet is actually insane. These EDP videos actually need to be clinically studied by a psychologist because of the amount of copium in them. But to pretty much sum up what uh, EDP is saying, he's introducing Gideon as this awful, terrible human being, one of the worst prank channels on the internet, uh, which is kind of insane to me. Do I think Gideon's perfect? Absolutely not, but I don't think he is one of the uh, worst prank channels out there. Like I said, most of his videos actually weren't too bad. 
but there was a couple videos where he definitely was harassing people and creating victims and EDP is very quick to make himself one of those victims and that's kind of my issue with Gideon becoming a creep catcher or someone who wants to dive into this kind of content is based on his track record right he's known for being out in public and being the biggest menace and and doing these massive pranks or whatever so when you get into creep catching those creeps are going to have a defense saying that you were actually faking it and you were actually just out there to get get cloud and make a video right which in this case is partially true however they did have real life evidence of him actually grooming a minor right so he's so quick to kind of paint himself as one of Gideon's victim and that might work for his insane crazy fan base now towards the end he does mention how uh, Gideon was leaking numbers leaking addresses leaking where he works and stuff like that and yes I am saying he because EDP is clearly talking about himself I believe they did end up leaking his phone number in the sting video and they also leaked what his car was and his uh, car's license plate which I don't really care if EDP stuff gets leaked. I know that sounds bad, but from a legal perspective, I don't think that was very professional of Gideon, to be perfectly honest with you guys. But anyways, uh, the video keeps going, so let's let's keep going. He told me about the video, talking about he deleted all of his fucking content and whatever. I'm just like, okay, what the fuck does this have to do with me? I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But he told me that this is turning his life over to God, and, you know, he's... He's apologizing to everybody that he's fucked over and whatever. Listen, dog, do I forgive you? You can kiss my motherfucking ass, bro. So basically the video uh, EDP is referencing here is a video uploaded by Jideon pretty much explaining why he deleted all his previous videos. And somewhere in the video, he does mention how he wants forgiveness from everyone that he's kind of screwed over and I'm pretty sure he meant towards the people that he had in his videos in terms of like his pranks or uh, people within his community that he's kind of screwed over and stuff like that but for whatever reason EDP thought that this uh, this asking for forgiveness was directed towards him and even Gideon went on to explain how it wasn't directed towards him oh no I didn't I didn't apologize to you my man <laughs> oh no 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 <laughs> I don't want you to take that video. I literally everybody, everybody that I ever did something to, that's who I was apologizing to. No, 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 buddy. I do not want you thinking I'm apologizing to you. No. So this just goes to show even more copium and more delusion from EDP, how he genuinely thinks that he is one of Gideon's victims, which is crazy because EDP has created so many victims out of minors. So Gideon was real quick to shut that down. But anyways, we're going to continue with this video. Do you understand? So when you walk into the dialysis center, there's a big ass sign, right? That says no firearms slash weapons of any kind is allowed in the, in the facility. Okay. Now I have my CCW. Um, I carry a 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. You feel me? And I like to respect the law. I try to respect the law. And so I kept my gun in the fucking car. You know what I mean? And I'm walking into the dialysis center. You guys seen the video. Here come this motherfucker dressed up in this stupid ass cupcake outfit. Now, if I was a piece of shit and I didn't give a fuck about the law, do you understand that I could have easily killed your motherfucking ass, Gideon? So yeah, obviously we kind of take a dark turn here with him bringing up this concept or this idea of what he could have done in that situation. Now this was kind of backed up and hinted at when he sent Kayla, who is the 15-year-old girl that he groomed, a video of him saying that if she tried to set him up or put him in a position where he gets exposed, he was not only going to harm or try to do very bad damage to people who were in that situation, but he was also going to go after Kayla. I had to like set him up in any sort of meetup, he would kill me and everybody else there. But I'm telling you right now, if you fuck me over, if this shit goes wrong in any fucking way, shape, or form, give your soul to the Lord. And Gideon knew this and he kind of jokes about it now saying that oh but you didn't do it you didn't do it but you didn't there was still a very big possibility that he could have you're literally dealing with a guy who has nothing left to lose 
You know what I mean? So he probably was thinking about it, and then he stopped himself. You know what I mean? I feel like he's getting to a point where he's not going to the next time, uh, which is kind of scary. But I also still very heavily criticize Jadion for going through with this. Like, I understand creep catchers and predator poachers, but they're not police officers. They're not FBI agents. So you are going to deal with very dangerous situations like this when you go to confront people like EDP. And like I said, this confront confrontation didn't really do anything to benefit any sort of like police investigation. They're doing it strictly for content. So I still think it's very irresponsible for Gideon to go through with this and knowing now that EDP did think about it in the situation and he did have guns in his car is really scary to me and really irresponsible on Gideon's behalf because not only are you putting yourself in danger, but you could have put everyone else in that situation in danger too. But anyways, let's keep going. I've gotten thrown out of motherfucking apartments, okay? My fucking friends don't want nothing to fucking do. Well, a few of my friends don't want shit to fucking do with me. Okay, I'm getting ran up on by at motherfucking Walmart. I can't even go out and go motherfucking grocery shopping because of your clown motherfucking ass and also because of other fucking people. You feel me? All right, so at this point, you guys see what I mean about the delusion and the complete bullshittery coming out of this guy's mouth. He's going to sit there and stare at this camera and sit there and say that, the reason why he's in the position he is today is because of CC unit, because of Gideon, because of Chet Goldstein, because they wronged him. When he can't sit there for once and admit to what he did, and that's why he's in the position he is today. He blames them for why he doesn't have an apartment anymore. He blames them for the reason why he doesn't have his career anymore. He blames them for the reason why he's getting pulled up on at Walmart and being confronted by people. No, 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 Bryant. You're doing that because of your own actions that you did three years ago and you continue to do. You know what I mean? People ask me why I still do videos on EDP, right? Isn't it getting old? Why don't you let the guy rest? Because he is so delusional that he needs people to call him out. Because if we're not calling him out, he's, he's going to sit there and think that he's done nothing wrong, which he still does. But we need to remind him and remind people that this sick, disgusting freak is still out there. And he's still doing the same nasty, disgusting shit he did three years ago. So you, Gideon, I couldn't even receive motherfucking dialysis that day. I had to, my blood pressure was sky motherfucking high. High as a bitch. I had to go to the kidney center on the kidney access center because of you. I had to have motherfucking surgery, extra fucking surgery. I had to have the fucking port stuck back in my motherfucking chest because they couldn't get dialysis through my goddamn fistula in my left arm. So I had to have fucking surgery I had to have a catheter stuck in my fucking chest just so they could just so I could receive fucking treatment. And then you decided to follow me from the dialysis center all the way across town to the motherfucking access center. Fuck your apology. You can suck my fake ass motherfucking tears, bitch. You got every motherfucking thing you got coming to your bitch ass. All right. So that was EDP's response to Gideon. Now, if you guys want to watch the full 11 minute video unedited without me yapping the whole time, it is over on EDP 405 all access YouTube channel. But basically the only parts I edited out were parts where he was going on these long winded tangents or saying stuff that wasn't really relevant to the points I'm trying to say in this video. But that being said, the last point I want to bring up is towards the end here where EDP talks about where the sting video took place. Now, a lot of you guys already know this, but EDP was diagnosed with a form of kidney failure. Now it's not as bad as people were trying to make it sound when it got announced, but it is something that he does need to go get treatment for. And if he doesn't get the treatment, it could be life threatening. Now, the reason I bring this up is because if you think of it from an actual legal perspective, Gideon and Skeeter confronting EDP at a place of medical and a medical center was actually a really bad idea because let's say hypothetically, right? Let's say EDP does eventually get arrested by Kayla's, um, you know, Kayla's charges, right? Let's say he does get arrested for grooming Kayla. I'm almost guaranteed that his lawyer is going to bring up this situation and bring up the concept that EDP was unable to get his dialysis treatment, which is life-saving treatment, because Jadion and Skeeter were there. Now, I'm not trying to sympathize with EDP. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm simply saying from an actual logical perspective, the idea of doing a sting operation at a medical center was extremely stupid. And like I said, if EDP gets a decent lawyer, I almost guarantee they're going to try to prove that Jadion was actually causing harm to EDP or preventing him from getting life-saving treatment right? That's all I'm trying to say. And that is not a good look for Gideon. And I feel like 
I almost guarantee to you guys, if EDP does get arrested, this is going to get brought up 100% because you already have EDP talking about it, right? So anyways, that's all I really want to talk about. Uh, that's the video. If you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Just gotta